ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video much by rib today we're in esx uh, it's been very requested an esx install so we're going to go from the start to the finish um, but do excuse if i'm a bit out of sync i did record the video and didn't realize my mic wasn't on so i'm putting this audio on top of the video so first things we're doing we're setting up a fx server from scratch because that's the latest build of the to run a gta 5 rp 5m server so you need a fx server so this is how we do it first things first make sure your port forwarded to the port 30120 uh, and then let's go so we're installing xamp is what which what we use to connect to your database that's xamp it'll be in the download that i provide in the download i provide the raw folders as well as a folder ready for install so if you don't want to do any of this you just want to use the folder straight away and it's called esx install just put that esx folder in your c drive and yeah make sure your database is set up run the sqls and run it so this is xamp that you can see on the screen that we're setting up now this is what we use to connect to the database and then we run the apache and we run the mysql when that's done i think we go on to the heidi heidi is what we actually use for the database yeah so, so install heidi uh, my database was called vlpfx because it was an, an older one i was using it doesn't really matter what your name is um but the password does matter so my password was root with no sorry my user was root with no password so now I believe we'll be creating a new folder in the C drive and that folder is going to be called FX server however I do later change it to ESX so this is the FX server folder and this is where I'm going to put the FX server installation so now I'm going to 5m.net click download for a server and then we'll get what we need but like I said if you don't want to have to do this you don't have to I've already got the folder already ready for you to use but this is how you do it so first we need the artifacts and we're using a Windows server so we'll go down to the latest Windows installation which is at the bottom I'll try and be as slow as I can as well guys and we'll download this and then we'll put this into the FX server folder and then we'll extract it all there like I say I'll try and be as slow and uh, as on point as I can is there's quite a bit to do for this ESX, ESX install so it can be quite confusing but if you just keep pausing at a point that you've done then play the video then pause and play the video then pause you should get it done so we've just ex extracted all the contents of the artifacts into there and now we need the github which has got the resources so we go back to the 5m wiki and that's what we're getting now and we're going to put this also into the FX server folder in the C drive as so and we extract this however it didn't extract it's inside this folder here so if we go up you'll see I need to put these back into the main directory like so delete that top one so we've got the resources and we've got all the server artifacts that we need right so that's pretty much the installation of an FX server there's a couple of things we do need we do need a run.bat which I'm just gonna grab now like I say I've already provided one it's already in the ESX install directory so I've just logged onto my server to grab that so you guys don't have to this is this here so this is a default completely there's nothing on it it's just the standard installation of ESX so there will be no markers on the map and stuff uh, that all comes later so we put that into our FX server directory just messaging my friend back a developer on one of our ESX servers Justin is doing an amazing job if you do fancy playing one of our servers then join on 216.52.143.236 or filter IGTA so back onto the installation so wrong folder so now we'll go through go with the ESX install so first of all you need to create a folder which is brackets essential in the resources which is as you can see here bracket essentials 
close bracket. Okay. Right, now inside this essentials folder, we need to put the, well actually first of all, we're gonna put essential mode into the resource put ES admin 2 into essentials folder so the ES admin 2 went to essentials folder and the essential mode just goes in the resources and that's the SQL down there that we need to run you also do need the server.cfg but that's provided in the installation and the SQL for essential mode we need to run in our Heidi so I believe that's what we're doing now so we're going into Heidi as you can see my database is called a VFPFX user was root and the password there's no password so now I'm just trying to find where, where's my ESX install it's on the desktop rib go and find it rib where is it there it is oh but you just went past it rib jeez wake up desktop ESX install there install that SQL refresh and you'll see we now have an essential mode database which at the minute has just got the users we'll have a lot more by the time the installation is finished okay so we've done ES plugin 2 ES admin sorry has gone into the essentials folder and the essential mode is in the resource folder so back into the main directory of all my folders and now we want ES plugin MySQL. So let's extract that there and let's just move that folder. Move that folder across into essentials. As you saw it did have a, an SQL. I'm not too sure if I do it now or I do it afterwards, but they all do need installed. So I've deleted the old one. The essential mode one. Um, and now we have the MySQL async which you do need to rename just to MySQL async and you just put that into your resources so I'm renaming this just to MySQL um, hyphen async rename okie dokie now we're gonna get the ES extended So we need to install, we need to take the resources out of the CS extended folder and put them into the resources and we also need to install that SQL. I'm doing, forget this bit boys, this isn't what you do. I got a bit sidetracked. But I'll soon work out, no, inside this folder. Yeah, so all these inside the resource you put over to your resources which I should be doing any time now. Come on, Rib. As so. Okay. And then we should install the SQL. So back into Heidi, file. Make sure you highlighted your essential mode run. And we're running the SQL for ES extended. So if we refresh that, you've got some more new categories within the essential mode. Not too sure if I missed the ES uh, plugin SQL. I think I might have done. If I did, just go back into your essentials folder, back into the plugin, and install that SQL as well. No, I think, look, I remembered. It's here. I remembered. It's okay. So, C drive, FX server, which we do need to change name to ESX because the run.bat is looking for an ESX and at the minute it's called FX server. But we get to that. C drive, FX server, resources, essentials, ES plugin, MySQL, and run that one too. So now we're up to date. Happy days. Okay, nearly there. So now I think we're pretty much there. Wrong.
wrong folder wrong folder that's backups that's backups for when Justin uh, cocks up and says oh I haven't got a backup I have don't worry just it's all good so no, rule number one when you change stuff you always get a backup first so now we go to the FX server and we try and run the server which by running the ESX run.bat what you doing Rib? what you doing Rib? I'm thinking is that it? is that it? yeah that's it let's just let's just run this oh no the server.cfg this is where I was using the, the wrong CFG and then I worked out no this is for a different version of VRP and then I realized yes the, I have got the updated version so it's trying to work out why has it got all VRP stuff but I then remember this is an older VRP server CFG that I didn't need but don't worry guys like I say the server CFG the ESX 1.bat all the updated files are in the ESX install folder that I provide so if you don't want to do any of this installation you just want to run the server like I say that there is an ESX install server folder there just put that folder into your C drive make sure it's called ESX make sure you're running HiD with XAMP at the beginning you've got your and uh, your database called whatever but your root your admin and your sorry your user database user should be um, root and no password but you can change that at the top of the CFG I'll be showing you that so I've just realized yes we have got that server CFG no we can't rename it because we've got two already in there Rib okay now we're getting there so this is the server.cfg and as you can see at the top of here is where you've got your database information it says MySQL connection and at the end mine says user ID root and then I've got no password well, if your use your database is different just change it here okay although I do need to change the slots slots at the minute are on the bottom is at 1 we need to change that to 32 now we can run the server ESX and then it'll say we don't find that folder because this is where you change your folder name from FX server to ESX and it won't do that because we've already got it open in the database so now work out yeah then close the database and we'll be able to run it close Heidi rib close Heidi I didn't close it did I okay now we'll be able to rename it so ESX now run the ESX run.bat but the first time you run the server guys you might have a session manager when you try and join on 5M you might have a session manager cannot load session manager just delete your cache and retry it or restart the cache uh, restart the session manager and happy days that's what happened to me now it's connected on your IP as long as you port forwarded it'll be your IP if you don't know what your IP is just go to a website on Google just like what is my IP and you'll get your IP but for now I just go on 127.0.0.1 because I wasn't putting my IP on show so yeah ESX rib test connect and this is where it will say could not load the session manager try again could not load session manager I just deleted the cache re tried and it worked but you, there is a command there is a archon you can use to restart you just, it's basically restart space session space manager and it will restart the session manager for you but we don't have to do that so I changed the slots now to 32 instead of 1 we deleted the cache deleted the cache we try again this time all works ok 
Okay. Back into 5 amp. This time we do get on the server. Like I say, there's nothing on the server. It's a default, plain, basic install of ESX server that's fully working. And um, but from here is when you'd start adding your resources, and there's loads of resources and scripts already on the 5M website. So yeah, head over there and start implementing your scripts. You put the scripts to your 5M, to your ESX folders, resources, put them in there, install the SQLs, and make sure in the server.cfg under the other resources you go start space uh, indicators, for instance, or whatever the resource is called. So this is us joining the server. And we are on. You know you all work in when you have the hood in the top right. Well, it says Chambier, it's just French. That's for un unemployed. You can find that in your database to change it to unemployed instead of Chambier. We can reinstall the 